Mike Schmitz of ESPN. We're here with Mark Williams, Duke big man, having a breakout sophomore season this year. Mark, did you expect to make, you know, such a big jump going from a guy who, you know, showed some flashes last year to now, you know, a potential lottery pick and one of the best bigs in the country? Uh, yeah, you know, I've, you know, I was consistently working hard uh, over the summer and, you know, I think now I'm just really getting the opportunity to show, you know, the player that I am. So what are the biggest things that anything you did over the summer or anything specifically like where do you see, I guess, the most progress, you know, from last year to this year? Uh, you know, I think my confidence on both ends of the floor um, offensively, I think I was doing a better job, you know, making moves and finishing and obviously on the defensive end protecting the rim. And, you know, maybe it's not always blocks, but it's altering shots. Yeah. You know, making the guard, you know, change their shots. So. Yeah. Well, we're going to get into that. We got about five, six minutes of your clips here. Some offense, some defense. Starting on the offensive side of the floor, like I think your ability to change ends, you know, and run the floor is a big strength. Like when you're really active and, and running the floor, I know it sounds simple, but like what are some of the things, your keys, you're going through your head? Uh, yeah, you know, I think obviously, uh, you know, being able to out sprint the other big yep. know, allows for a lot of off offensive opportunities, um, you know, extra possessions that you know, result in at least two points. So just being able to do stuff like that and beating the other big down the floor. Yep, and whipping your head around, giving a target, right? Little things like that. Yep. And so sometimes, like I would say, it, it doesn't always lead to a bucket for you, right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes it opens up things for your teammates. For sure. And you can kind of see that on this play. Um, take me through kind of the impact that, that you have and what that opens up. Uh, yeah, you know, we got the rebound. Um, yeah, so once we got the board, obviously, I saw that, hey, Maybe I'll get the ball, maybe I won't, but it's causing a lot of miscommunication between the bigs, and Paula got a little uh, trail three. Yeah, easy, right? And that's not something like you don't get a stat for that, you don't get an assist, you probably should get an assist. Yeah. Um, but just running the floor, two go with you, wide open three, right? Um, so I think that's kind of the you know the impact that you can have, and then you know just wanted to show a little bit of the the vision. Yeah. Uh, like, I, are you an underrated passer? Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, I think in this particular clip, I saw you know Paula running. Um, back of my head a little bit. Uh, obviously, the pass was a little long, but I dropped it off on him and he got to finish. Are you, where are you most comfortable? Because we've seen you like high lows, you know, kind of some cross court hits out of, out of the post. Mm -hmm. um, one, like where does the passing come from? And two, where are you kind of most comfortable on the floor? Um, I think passing wise, um, you know, just being able to read the defense, I think it varies game by game. Obviously, how teams guard me. I'm um, just trying to find the open man. But um, I think that passing just comes from watching a lot of NBA basketball. Obviously, players got to make passes out the short roll yep. off a double team or whatever it may be. So, Yeah, and playing out of the short rolls, you know, huge. Um, but here again, running the floor, and just to kind of wrap up this part of it, I think, like, it doesn't stop when they contain your initial action, right? So, mm -hmm. like, w I just like how continuous you are here. Like, you go into the early post touch, yep. you don't have anything, sprint out, balls. Like, this is good basketball, right? Yep. For sure. And is is that something you had to learn, or this is just like you've always known how to play this way? Um, I mean, I think it just came with playing. You know, the more you play, the more you are able to find reads like that. Um, obviously, Jeremy made a great pass right here on the lob, but, you know, just being able to, you know, you don't have the first thing, just being patient and letting the play come to you. Yeah, staying active. Um, and, and there, the so the lob, right, That the, the vertical spacing, the – Throw it up anywhere near the rim. You're gonna. For you sure. don't always dunk it either. For you're sure. tapping it in. Yeah. Um, what is the reach? Do you know your standing reach? Uh, nine eight. Nine eight. Okay. Just a little bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably an eight one. Um, but yeah, you're you're finishing one of the best finishers in the country. One of the best finishers in the draft. Um, what are the keys, especially in, in pick and roll? Uh, you know, to to being such a threat in these situations. Uh, yeah. So I think for me, I think one of the biggest things is just that first step getting out. You know, mm -hmm. that screen, you know, either the guard's going to have a little shot, a little drive, or being able to drop it off, like in this clip right here. What did this feel like? Uh, it was electric. <laughs> playing, in, playing in Vegas, obviously. Yep. Going up against Chet was a great matchup for me. You know, I was really excited for the opportunity, and I was able to finish right there. Yeah, and we, you know, I, Paulo made big shots. Everyone made big shots. But I think the way that you changed the game defensively in that game, did you feel yourself kind of having a coming out party there? Uh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, it was also, I mean, it was in November. Yeah. Uh, we played a lot of games in November. I think we had like eight games, yep. something like that. But it was all a blur at yeah. this point. But that you'll remember that poster, oh, yeah, for I sure. think, for, for quite a while. So, sure. all right, there, the dunk on Chet, one of the better shot blockers in, in the country like yourself, and then being able to go up and get it, kind of like what I'm talking about, right? Like, yeah. is that just 
your ability to read the ball, soft hands, what is that? Uh, I think just reading the ball, you know, sometimes you're not going to be able to dunk it all. Uh, but I think right there I was able to, you know, cradle the ball and just drop it in. Yep, over over big Oscar who's having a, a big year himself, right? Yeah, for sure, rebounding the ball. Rebounds it. everything. Yeah. So then a lot of it is is like screening angles and knowing when to slip out, when to. Mm -hmm. um, are you? What are you looking at as you go to set these like step ups? Like, uh, sort of knowing where the defender was. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's sort of almost icing it. Yep. I just you know maybe he was gonna flip it, but I just got out since he was dropping a little bit more, and I got behind him, and he was and Trev was able to throw the lob to me, or Dell was. Yeah, that's great. And so much of that is like the rhythm with the guard, right? Exactly. And being able to have that communication. Um, but sometimes that takes big years, even in the NBA, to kind of figure that out, right? Yeah. Um, so there we see it. And then I like this a lot. So mm -hmm. is this just communication between you two or? Uh, I mean, we sort of had a look. Um, so, I mean, I saw him starting to cheat up. So I just, you know, went back and Dell again threw a hell of a pass to me. And so that's just your communication right here? Yeah. Just um, over, you know, over commit to the ball screen. So. And those are the little things like the IQ things that, again, maybe don't show up with some fancy pass, but yeah. you can see it there for sure. Exactly. Uh, um, and then being able to play these handoffs a little bit too, right? Yep. Deny it, flip it. Exactly. On your head. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's that's big time. So all right, I think what you do on the offensive glass too is like it's not always let me go get it. We've seen the tip dunks, game winning tip dunks. Yeah. But these tap outs are, are big time. Yeah. Um, what, take me through kind of how this evolved into such a part of your game. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we always talk about, you know, grabbing the ball with two hands, but sometimes that's not, you know, always the, the best you can do. Yeah. Uh, so I think right there, just getting a hand on the ball and getting into the backcourt, you know, allows us to get some extra possessions. So obviously we got a big shot right here and just that's yeah. how it is. Yeah. Game changing plays, exactly. you know, like you guys create an extra possession. And that's just energy, effort, your length, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, all those things. Yeah. There's another one, right? Exactly. And um, then even reading it, I think on the air ball, yeah. being able to track the ball. Yeah. You're like karate, you got the yeah, you got the chops, yeah. the judo. <laughs> yeah. Um, you had me box out a little bit, so. Yeah. I mean, I didn't want to get over the back, but I knew I could get a hand on it, so I just tried to hit as hard as I could. You ever play volleyball? No? Just, nah. No. I watched it, though. Yeah? Yeah. yeah are you, so you've had a bunch of big dunks, some that aren't in here. Are you a trash talker? Are you a silent? How, how do you approach your um, your celebrations? Um, I think it almost it varies by game. Yeah. You know, if somebody's somebody's talking to me, I'll talk back, but I'm not usually the first one to start talking trash. Yeah. yeah. But you show some emotion on the court For sure. at times. For sure. Uh, all right. So that that's offensively, and, and again, underrated passer. We've seen the playmaking. You know, you've made a handful of mid-range jumpers this year, too. Do you feel like you can step out eventually and shoot yeah, the three? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah it's something that I've, you know, continue to work on and just will continue to work on. Yeah. Sure. But defensively, I think that's where, where you hang your hat. Like you said, I think you're one of the best defenders in the country, arguably the best shot blocker, you know, in, in the draft. Um, I guess to be a great defender in college and the NBA, what are the things you need to be really good at? Um, I think timing. Yeah. Uh, you know, you got to recognize when they're shooting and when they're not. Um, you know, being able to sometimes just body up, wall up, go vertical. And then obviously when you're going for the block, you know, not to go 10, make sure you, you know, get it first before it hits the backboard and then just being able to alter shots in general. Yeah, and, and that's what you've done all year. So we'll, we'll go through different elements of it, post-defense, pick and roll, all that. Um, Drew Timmy, what, what do you want to take away with him? Uh, his left shoulder. Right yep. Uh, that, was the, that was the scout form. Um, obviously, I just wanted to stay down. You know, I knew a pump fake might, might come, might not. So just staying down on him. And you made it tough on him all night. What about Chet? Yeah, um, obviously. Got you on this one, right? Yeah, he obviously had a tough fade away here. But, you know, was staying down. And, you know, he made a tough shot right there. So, But did a good job on him. And, and we'll show the clip later where you kind of ran him off the three-point line. Yeah. Um, you know, your ability to kind of cover ground at your size. Okay, sometimes they get you with these duckings. This is the other night. Yeah, yeah. What, how do you... Make sure this doesn't happen at the next level. Uh, I think for me, I think right there, I should have just stayed above, you know, force him to throw it over the top. I would have had help. You know, so three quarter? Yeah, either three quarter or the full front. I would have had help. Um, and then right here, obviously, you got the duck in and then just, you know, not fouling. You know, I brought, brought my hands down a little bit. but So just the physicality piece and, and using what you're good at, which is your length, exactly. your quickness, exactly. things like that. Um, yeah, because sometimes they'll, you know, spin off of you, yeah. um, little things like this, right? Yeah. But I think when you're revved up, playing with energy, using your length, really hard to score over. Yeah, exactly. I think right here is something similar. Um, but this one, this one, okay, so he's moving you. Yeah. 
and I just try to, you know, stay down. Yeah, it's perfect. Exactly. Like, yeah, maybe you're not always going to be as big as Embiid or physically, but, exactly, but your length, your timing. Yeah, utilizing that to the best of my ability and that's so right here. He's a tough cover, huh? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he had a nice day. He did. Um, but, yeah, that's that's tough to finish over. And then, again, uh, with this Kafaro. Yep. Multiple efforts, yep. you know, playing with that type of energy, yep. not falling for his, his shot fakes. Yep, not fouling. Not fouling, lefty blocks, either hand. Yep. Um, I was curious about this, this cross screen. Mm -hmm. So who is this? Is this for, for you to communicate? Uh, I mean, yeah. I think it was for pa – oh, Paulo's supposed to call it out. Think, okay. Right here. Because um, obviously that was the first time we've seen it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when we played him the second time, we adjusted for it. But. Got you. I was just more curious because yeah. – um, but so there's the post defense, and then I think your ability to guard the perimeter. We'll get into some of the pick and roll stuff, mm -hmm. but just understanding angles. Mm -hmm. w what do you see here with Timmy? Yeah, you know, obviously driving with that right hand. Um, you know, he extended uh, with the left. So yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Just reading where he's gonna go. Um, Want to get downhill to his right hand. Mm -hmm. Really good job. And then, all right, so they, he kind of picked you apart a little bit. Wardenberg, remember yeah. this? Yeah. What can you do to make sure like? I know he gets back cut, mm -hmm. but that these type of passes don't get through. Yeah, uh, I think just applying more ball pressure. Yeah, uh, making it you know harder for him to see. You know, obviously you got you got the ability to see the whole floor right here because I wasn't applying too much pressure right there. So, so if you get up into him, mm -hmm. use that seven seven. Yep, seven seven wingspan. Yeah, use that, then that's a tough uh, tough pass to make. And so this is impressive. Your ability to cover ground here. Yeah, like not a lot of guys can get from the block to the corner <laughs> this quickly. Yeah. What's going through your head at this point? Um, you know, obviously he can shoot that shot in the corner, so I just wanted to get a little contest. Yep. You know, I stayed down and, you know, was able to just make it tough for him. And that takes them completely out of their offense, right? I think they, yeah, yeah late, late, clock, late clock shot. Um, and then just to show, like, you can switch out on these. Yep. Block jumpers. You blocked a lot, of shot, a lot of jumpers this year, huh? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, and then just kind of getting into some of the pick and roll stuff. So what's your first – goal in these situations like if you're in a drop what yeah. what are your, what's going through your head what are the things you need to you know your we checklist talk, we talked about you know cat and mousing it yep uh, you know obviously right here it's going to be a switch because it's a little too late um so just trying to stay down and you know contain the ball as best as i can so in an ideal world you keep it in front guard yells back exactly right okay but the first level okay he gets downhill yeah. but honestly watching you all year in your film i think your perimeter defense like the miami game yeah High level stuff, man. Do you feel like you're comfortable stepping out, switching, guarding the perimeter? Yeah, I definitely feel comfortable doing that. Um, yeah, here corralling, mm -hmm. like keeping the ball in front. They yeah. get back. Um, that's that's really good stuff. And then Blake Wesley, I think, had had nightmares <laughs> yeah. trying to go through your chest. I don't. No one told him you have a nine eight <laughs> standing reach. Yeah. <laughs> so what? So you're you're trying to keep your head in line with the ball here? Yeah, uh, pretty much. You know, obviously he was getting downhill, trying to just stay in front, and then obviously I got the block. So. Yeah, tough to finish through, even when they're spinning, going in all different directions. I mean, using your length um, in those drops, and then so you talked about the cat and mouse. Like sometimes they'll hit the they'll hit the roll. Yeah. What it, what's your role here? How do you guys? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously right here, it was late game. Um, I think it was a little bit of miscommunication. So are you supposed to have two there? Yeah. Like be able to get back or no? I mean, yeah. I, was, I should have been able to get back, but obviously he dropped it off pretty quick. So. Yep, got rid of it quickly. Yeah. Yeah, because you're getting, like you said, the cat and mouse, you get in those situations a lot in the NBA, right, where yeah. it's like, it's a lot of mind games. Exactly. Um, and so, yeah. Like right here, I was able to get back, get the block. Yeah, this is, and you get turned around. Maybe that's not how you draw it up. Yeah. But It just sort of was off instinct. You know, I saw he dropped it off. I wanted to turn, like, I mean, most most times I probably would have turned the other way, but yeah, I was able to get back in time. Yeah, that's that's a big time big time block right there. You got Paulo flying in too. Yeah. Um, all right, sometimes they'll pick and pop you, right? Yeah. Um, and you can guard that a few different ways. Uh, how do you feel getting out to the kind of like shooting bigs? Uh, yeah, I, f I feel pretty comfortable right yeah. here. I think I just got you know I got a little too far back. Okay. Should have stayed a little bit higher. To, and know, then you'll be able to get back. So this I thought was really good. Yeah. Um, because you see how active you are, mm -hmm. get them off, that's big time. Yeah. Uh, it's being able to cover ground and then, and you guys are communicating like yeah. late switch or things yeah. like that? Late switch, you know, I think I can get a pretty high hand right there. Yeah. You know, I can cover a little bit more ground with my arms. So this is what I want to highlight because yeah. this is what I was really impressed with. Like this, this whole possession, mm -hmm. um, who is that with the ball? Is that Isaiah Wong? Yeah, it is. So quick. Yeah. 
right. can really get going. Yep. You're sitting down, sliding, yep. and not, not biting on those up fakes. Mm -hmm. um, staying engaged, still in the play, switch yep. again. Now you're on a different guard. And then the active hands. Uh, I mean, so you, you feel like if you're on an island against Trey Young, John Morant. Yeah, I feel pretty comfortable. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I think you, you showed that, you know, in this game for sure. Um, and then, like we talked about, like just not biting on this stuff, yeah. you know knowing that you're bigger, you're longer, you're exactly. tough to finish over, uh, and, and that's big time. And then lastly here, just to show Nemhard, how do you want to guard him? How much of it is like personnel based? Uh, I think a good amount of it is yeah. personnel based, but obviously when guards, uh, when guards get that switch, they're obviously going to want to do a little bit more dancing. Yep. So just stand down, you know, showing that high hand. Yep. Make them think about it a little bit. Yeah, and he's a good shooter, not a great shooter, right? So you'll probably live with a contested exactly. step back three from him. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's great. Um, so just showing that you can step out, guard the perimeter, you can be effective in those drops as a shot blocker. And then lastly, to end it, the shot blocking. I mean, clearly that's one of your best skills, if not your best skill. Um, who are your favorite shot blockers to watch growing up? Uh, shoot, too many. Uh, yeah. I, think, I think for me, I think it's honestly just watching just a number of guys. Yeah. Uh, obviously, game by game, yep. you know, different players are going to protect the rim in different ways. Any old school guy? Were you what, like a Hakeem, yeah. any, any of that yeah, or no? De yeah, definitely a lot. Or you're a new one. era? No, nah, definitely a large one. Uh, yep. Shaq a little bit too. Yep. Uh, just a lot of those guys that are able to protect the rim. And it starts in transition too. So sprinting back, yep. head on a swivel, staying down. Yep. Again, really good. Um, and, and then this is early on in the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the first Severe. Game. First game, you know, obviously he's really quick. Yep. Uh, they had Oscar in the re spot and then got through on the drive I just wanted to beat it and how so sometimes you go volleyball spike sometimes you're keeping it in bounds yeah um was that an intentional effort there because you could have sent this to the first row maybe yeah I mean obviously it was it was late game so yeah I think just giving us an extra possession oh uh, smart yeah you know keeping it in bounds so. that's, that's that's a big time block and then here against Notre Dame again just to show like jump to the ball yeah I don't even know if I got a piece of it but just you know uh, affecting his just shot. the presence, yeah, the, exactly. the sheer presence of being there, yeah. changing shots for sure. And okay, sometimes it's got to be this quick reaction, right? Yeah. So the back cut, could you have got to that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think if I just went a you know a second earlier, I would have got to it. Yep, and that's the instincts, the timing that we we see from you more often than not, and you can see it on this one. Yeah. Back cut. Now you're in position. Exactly. Changing shots. We're going the other way, um, and then just to wrap it up here. Sometimes, too, it's like you see Gobert's really good at kind of yeah. playing almost goalie, right? Yeah. At that back line, active hands, getting steals, using your length. Exactly. Um, big time, man. So, yeah, that's kind of the 360 look. It, you know, the offense, the defense, all the ways that you can have an impact. Uh, I, I guess if you were, you know, describing, like, your ideal career, you know, like as you go to bed every night and you're you're looking out into the future, yeah. you know, what would that look like? Uh, you know, someone that wants to win multiple championships, uh, you know, always love winning. Uh, just being a winner, you know, being an all-star, being the best, being the best player I can be every every day I play the game. Well, Mark, it's been great to watch your improvement these last couple of years, and I appreciate you taking the time, yeah, man. I appreciate you. Yes, sir.